Hello everybody, my name is Cirque and welcome back to another episode of The Circus, my single player Let's Play series. Today we're going to continue working on uh, this thing over here, the Patreon Grove, the monument to commemorate uh, everyone who has supported the channel over at patreon.com slash the Cirque. Uh, so I've been doing a little bit of work here, went and got a ton of gravel. I finally made myself a Respiration 3 Aqua Affinity Helmet. Had to do an iron helmet because I am all out of diamonds. We might, we might have to go do some exploring here pretty soon. Um, so I made that and just went to the bottom of the ocean and dug out tons and tons of gravel. It was so nice. I think that's all that I have left. I did have more than that, <laughs> but I've, um, I guess I mostly just used, used it to make this brown concrete powder. We are in uh, the full release of 1.12, which is... I mean, it's kind of exciting. Nothing really is, has changed in the last several snapshots, uh, except for maybe some tweaks to the advancements. Um, but yeah, full release, very cool, which means hopefully pretty soon we can get Optifine and we can have our beautiful custom sky again, possibly uh, check out shaders every once in a while. Uh, not all the time, but it'd be nice to have them, you know, just to play around with here and there. Um, so yeah, I, I've did the paths up, made them look a little bit nicer. I might still go around and put some gravel underneath the water here a little bit. Uh, I also, I changed up the, the Patreon logo a little bit. Um, I used to have like a, a support going down from there. It, it kind of made it look like an actual P, um, like with the stem going down. Uh, that's, that's not how the logo looks. The logo looks like this. I just did that because Otherwise, the thing was floating, uh, but I changed it so that it's got uh, a more substantial base there. And I also went and made a bridge here, uh, a, a pretty rundown, <laughs> rugged bridge. I actually, I wasn't planning on making this symmetrical, and then I realized that it was symmetrical. <laughs> like, it's it's perfectly symmetrical. Uh, I don't know how I did that. It's quite amazing. Um, apparently I just, I can't build things that are not. <laughs> um, so I'm working on an archway here. We need a nice entrance to gr go around here. So I want some kind of archway going across here. I got a little bit of a thing started. It's very, um, it's very strange in shape. And I think this is going to be symmetrical as well. Um, let's see, let's get up here. Just because it's it's easier, and I, I like things that are symmetrical, a lot easier to build. Uh, so let's let's try and do that maybe, and do something like this. And where's the center? I think the center's right here. So let's maybe do something like that. Maybe put slabs there. Could put a slab there. I could actually even. I don't know how well that would look, but I could have these two be like opposites. So like this side, it would basically it would basically look the same from both ways if I did that. So if you were standing over here, it would look like this with the with this front of the pillar on this side. And then when you're standing on the other side, like whatever I do on the back here is going to be over there. So it looks the exact same no matter which side you're on. Um, that could be interesting, although it might look sort of odd if I did that. There we go. Yeah, I like that. I think that should work. So I mixed in some stone brick to break up the texture, and it's just a nice little archway. It does look a little weird from the back here because it's kind of flat. Uh, since this is only too thick, it's hard to add depth to both sides. Um, if we had it three thick, then I could do that, but I don't really want to make it three thick. I kind of like just having it too thick. And honestly, like this is the entrance. This is like, it's supposed to look good from the outside, from the inside. It, it doesn't necessarily need to look as good. Maybe, maybe one thing we should do though is switch out these for some stone brick. That does make it look a little bit different. It just looks so so much different from this side than it does this like the whole shape of it looks stranger because uh, this side it seems like it's this kind of flat roof with these weird bent legs whereas on this side you have more of an arch going through here 
but I like it. It's good. Uh, and then we need to put a sign here. Um, cobble walls. There they are. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something like this. Whoop. Well, I guess we'll type here. Uh, we're going to do a fancy pattern because this is all fancy. So do something like that and then Patreon Grove. Or maybe I should call it Park. That sounds better, doesn't it? Patreon Park. I've kind of been just tied to this Patreon Grove idea. Um, but I, I feel like the name of it, Patreon Park, sounds a lot better. And that's more of what this will be. It's, it's, it's going to be a park. I mean, it'll be kind of a grove of trees, but um, until we get trees in here, it's going to be pretty empty and it's just going to be pretty much a park. But there we go. Patreon Park. I like it. Good alliteration there. Um, so I guess now, <laughs> uh, I mean, there's a few other decorative things we could do. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that I want to do here to decorate it. Uh, it'd be nice to get some plants in here, some bushes, uh, over here. I want to get some sort of benches so we could, uh, we could just have a little bench here, but I kind of, I want them to be a little bit more amorphous than just neat little benches. So what if we did like a slab here? Although then can you really tell that it's a bench is the problem. Um, does it still look like a bench if you make it look weird like that? Not really. So we could just have some like little benches there. You know, that could work. Maybe mix in some stone brick as well. Maybe on this one, we'll put uh, stone brick on the corners. Let's keep those in our hot bar and do something like that. Could work, could work. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll just leave that for now. But we might want to do something like that elsewhere. I'm just going to do that off camera. Uh, but I think it's time to get started on the trees. So we have four trees to build. We have one for Dex Jam, Best Jam. We got one for Moe. Uh, Axe Moe, uh, we have one for Steel Tech and one for Alex Pope. Um, so I think placement is going to be kind of key uh, for these first ones because it might look like this for a while. I think I want to have one right here. I'm just going to mark that out. Uh, and then I think I wanted one kind of by the river or by the lake here, something like right there. So we'll make one of them there. So we got one there, one there, maybe one um, right on the back here, maybe like right here, and then maybe one right here. It leaves the front kind of empty, doesn't it? Hmm, I don't like that too much. Maybe we put one over here as well, put one like right there, maybe not quite right there because we might still want to fit one in right there. So if we do like that, those are the four trees. All right, and I do have, I got uh, some oak leaves and some spruce leaves. I could go back, I used up all the shears that I had bought off the villagers, so if I want more leaves, and I might need more leaves, I'll have to go and buy some more shears. Um, oak and spruce are pretty nice. Uh, and then we have, I mean, we have all the woods at <laughs> to our disposal. We're not using birch. Oak is always a nice classic one. Um, spruce is a good one if we want a little bit darker tree. Uh, the acacia wood is really nice. I don't, I'm not super fond of the orange on the ends of it. And we're definitely going to see that here. Although it does kind of fit in with the Patreon, but I do really like the, the gray, uh, the gray trunks. So I'm not entirely sure. I'm, I think I'm going to use a mixture, uh, like not in the same trees, but different trees will be different blocks just to add a little bit of variety to this park here. And I did it. The first tree, isn't it beautiful? It's all right. Uh, it's, it's definitely not the worst tree that I've done. <laughs> One thing that's actually kind of nice about this project is uh, I should get some nice pra practice in making some custom trees. Uh, so this is pretty pretty standard tree. I will do uh, some different 
shapes, uh, different types of trees. At least I'll try. They might all just end up looking like this, though. <laughs> Who knows? Anyways, let's see. How do I want to actually put a sign on these? Should I just, like, put it on the trunk here and just have have a sign there or should I do something special I feel like I should maybe do something special maybe we'll get um, let's see what what would be a good block I'm thinking right now just like a cobble stair is there anything else that would be better um, I can't really think of anything that I would like more uh, but we could just do like a cobble stair maybe like that <clears throat> that could work. It's like a little plaque type thing. Uh, maybe even at the side of the path. That that could work. Or should I push it back? Uh, I like give, the idea of giving the tree a little bit more space. We'll we'll try it here. Uh, so we'll put some dashes. Uh, maybe I'll change that later. But for now, that's good dedicated to and then this one is going to be for steel tech i'm just going to go in order that they uh started pledging um steel tech no longer a patron but that is all right he still gets a tree since he has in the past uh pledged over on patreon.com slash the uh so there we go we got our first dedicated tree dedicate oh dedicate to no we, we want past tense. <laughs> uh, let's try that again. Dedicated to Steel Tech. I think it's all one word. I might need to look that up. Uh, there we go. Fantastic. So we got three more trees. Um, I, think, I think I'll go back there for the next one. And tree number two is done. This one shall be dedicated to... Uh, I should have started that later. Let's see, where do we want to put this? Uh, we'll put it right there. That looks good. All right. I put them on the side of the path, right? I, I think so. That's. I think that's why I decided. Uh, this one is going to be dedicated to Axe Mo. Should I say monkey or Moe? You know what? Just for you, Axe Monkey, we're going to say monkey. <laughs> All right. Axe Monkey. There, we got a nice coniferous tree. That's the first time I've ever done one of those. And I think it turned out all right. There are some... I might do some adjustments. Uh, I think there's too many leaves in some parts. Like, it got a little bit too rounded. Like, maybe right there. Might want to trim some of that up. Gotta trim the tree a bit. Oh, I don't want to pillar with those. Uh, I mean, I, I could have just left them, but... Uh, don't really want to be using those up. Right here, I said, right? Like, take that out. Maybe that one. I don't know. Um, maybe that one. That feels like too much now. Well, we'll look. <laughs> we'll take a look at it. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna be playing uh, playing around with these for a little while, just like tweaking them. And in fact, when I record that last clip, like I had to put all of my leaves and stuff away because. I just kept going around there and like, oh, I could put a leaf here and a leaf there and a little bit of some leaves there. <laughs> like, I, I, they're never perfect. They can always use adjustment. But I think that turned out pretty well. Nice little conifer, coniferous tree. So on to the next one. I think, I think for the next one, I'm going to use some birch leaves. So I'm going to have to go get some of those, which means I need to go do some trading for uh, some shares. And we're over at Aglow, our trading village, because I'd like to get some shears, as I said, to get some birch leaves. Um, and this is the first time that I am going to try this. Uh, I bet this is going to be really nice. Really, really nice. Uh, so the last... I haven't done any trading, really, since they've added all this recipe book stuff. Um, and so this is the first time I get to make use of this feature. Oh, that is so nice. <laughs> This was the worst part of the whole trading process was was individually putting these things these stacks into here slowly turning it into paper and now with the uh with the advent of 1.12 uh this is just so much easier let's see let's just do that that'll be a lot easier <laughs> show the recipes that we can actually craft oh man this just makes it oh, almost screwed up there. This makes it so much nicer. 
Um, this is, I, I like it. I, I really like it. There we go. All right, so I'm going to turn all of this into paper. We'll get it traded into emeralds, and then hopefully I still have the, the shepherd villager that uh, sells me the shears. And our third tree is done, this time with the birch and some acacia logs. Again, still not a huge fan of the orange, but I, I kind of like the gray with, with the birch leaves. I think that looks pretty nice. I think it works out all right. And I really hope, you know, we have lots of different trees here. And that's, I mean, they're, they're all not going to be super different. Um, I might use some dark oak in the next tree, so we'll have four different types of logs. Uh, I'm not going to use jungle or birch probably because those do look really, really odd and not really my favorite uh, types of colors. Um, and then we'll be using these three leaves, the, the oak, the birch, and the spruce. So it'll be just kind of a, a mix and match of those, I suppose, throughout this park. Uh, but anyways, let's dedicate this tree and this one let's see where should we put it maybe right here is that a good spot for it i feel like i feel like it should be over on this side somewhere like maybe there it's, uh, it's kind of on an odd, odd spot maybe we'll put it over on this side like right there uh this is the hardest part by the way why did i put it here hmm um, because there's not really enough room to put a tree there. <laughs> Oops, kind of messed that up. That's fine. This is this is the hardest part. Okay, we're just gonna go with that. That's gonna work for now. So this one is dash 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 dedicated to Alex Pope and dash 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 dash. There you go, Alex. Your wonderful tree has been built, has been installed. And we have one more tree to build, which we will do right across the bridge here. Finally, our fourth tree is ready to be dedicated. I guess we'll put it right there. And we will put some stars. I changed all of them to stars, asterisk, asterisks rather than the dashes. Uh, so dedicated to... Dex Jam, best jam. All right, Dex Jam, there is your tree. You get a nice dark oak tree. I kind of I realized after building all these trees, I sort of copied, like these are like hyper Minecraft trees, because <laughs> you got the oak tree. Like this is kind of like just a normal oak tree. It's it's the sh it's one of the shorter ones of the ones that I built. Kind of stubby, but obviously way better looking than a normal oak tree. Uh, we got the acacia tree here, which I didn't use the acacia leaves, which are basically just oak leaves. But honestly, the acacia leaves, like in like oak leaves in savanna, look kind of like that. They maybe aren't quite as desaturated, um, but they're they're kind of like that color. So, and this thing, it's it's like tall and it's got some like kind of longer branches, like an acacia tree. Uh, and then of course we have the the spruce tree over there, which is like a which is like a spruce tree <laughs> and then uh, the dark oak and again like I, I was building with dark oak and I wasn't like thinking okay I want to copy a dark oak tree, but I was thinking okay I want like a I've done all this other stuff I want like a, a bigger tree with kind of a, a thicker um, trunk and this is what came out of it so yeah, we sort of have, <laughs> we have four of the, the Minecraft trees. I just thought that was interesting. Um, so yeah, we got some benches over there. Obviously this place is still pretty barren. Um, I might go around and do some decorating. One thing we can do is to really cheaply is just to add some grass in here. Let me take some of this out. I do want to go, once I get some pod soul, one of these days we need to go out and find a, uh, um, a mega spruce taiga so I can get some pod soul because there's a few areas that I want to use it in uh, We just haven't gone out exploring and actually we should do it soon because I'm out of diamonds as well And so maybe we could just do kind of an exploration episode try and find some uh, Some treasures out in the wild as well 
So yeah, we'll just we'll just put some grass here. <laughs> I'll come back later and make this look a lot better. Maybe mix in some ferns. Like I said, put some pod sole would be good because that doesn't look great. It's just this whole flat ground is really boring. <laughs> so I think we need to just at least put some grass here. Even if I take most of it out. And I don't really want to use all my bone meal on this. I'm not using a ton of it at the moment, but it's still something that I don't... I don't really have an easy way of farming it since we don't have any skeleton grinders. But let's just kind of spam the ground here a bit. And that should be good. Take out all the flowers. I don't really want that color here. I just want some texture to the ground, basically. And I think that looks a little bit better. Just uh, sprinkled some grass around. I really want this place to look decent <laughs> for now because uh, I think uh, this will be the last time we come out here for a little while. Uh, we will be coming out here later to do more work out here. Hopefully add some more trees. Uh, if you would like your own tree here in the Patreon park, uh, you can head on over to patreon.com slash the Cirque and check that out. Obviously don't feel like you need to support, but if you enjoy my content and like the perks, I guess, then, uh, yeah, you, you're welcome to do so. Oh, one last thing is, uh, before we end it off, man, this looks, this looks pretty neat. There's not a lot here, but, uh, I'm liking, I'm liking what is here. I should also, well, I'll leave, I'll take that down. I still have all those chests to clean up too. I also put a little, uh, since we have a crossroads here, I put a little sign. So we got lighthouse that way. Yes, dare. Then we have Patreon Park and the beach down this way. Um, so that's kind of neat. I like the way that that turned out. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed another episode of The Circus. I think we did some good work here. I think we did some great work here. Uh, next episode, we'll probably be back in La Quinn, unless we decide to go exploring. Uh, I think we'll go back to La Quinn, though, first, before we head out and explore around some more so you can look forward to that i uh, hope you guys have enjoyed we'll see you next time goodbye peoples